Oh, Motherwell again, clean for a penalty. And Calvi's getting it clear. It's only half clear though, Hately. Coke. Mutiakil. Forbes! And Motherwell go in front! The ninth goal of the season for Ross Forbes. What a campaign he's having. At the game, the community of fans is obvious. But how does a community of football fans behave in a digital environment? What do they talk about? How do they interact? Is the community just as united as at the match? This is a micro-study of one of the principal Motherwell fan forums. As an ethnological study, this film intends to offer examples of how fans interact with one another online. All members may be united in their affection for Motherwell FC and blatantly biased with their opinions, but how effective is the community in ascertaining facts? As a lifelong fan of the club, I am also a member and periodic participant of Steelman Online. If I'm honest, I should confess I hit this website more than any other. As a fan, I want to know everything that is happening at the club. Who's in, who's out, who's fit or injured? Any insights and future signings? I am going to highlight some of the online discussions and show how forum members not only share news, gossip and opinions but also try to filter out fact from fiction. It could be argued this is a personal reflective study of why I spend so much time in the forum. Well, in a way, I suppose it is. The forum offers opportunities to share information, rate players' performance and have a good rant when things go wrong, especially after a bad defeat. Motherwell Football Club actually have a fairly good website of their own. It's updated daily and keeps fans informed of latest club news. To some extent it feeds off the success of the fans forum as a previous forum administrator has now been appointed by the club as an official media officer. But the club website can only report official news. Steelmen Online is where you go to get the insider stuff the gossip, personal comments and the drivel. Over the summer months, during the close season, Motherwell underwent significant change. Several players' contracts were up and rumours were rife others were to be sold. Forum discussions normally run between 1 and 20 pages. However, this ins and out thread ran to 175. This particular rumour here about Clarkey turned out to be true. But in amongst the opinion, notice how some members make comment about the legitimacy of the story and inquire just how close to the club did the story actually originate. Apart from the odd accurate gem like this one, fans generally had to feed off stories from the media. But then in mid-June, things really hotted up. I'm sure over the next couple of weeks is had players from down in England. Um, I'll not dismiss what's up in Scotland. I'm sure there's good quality up here. But there's a lot of good players down in England that I think can do a fantastic job for Mother One. And what we need to do is recruit them. Jim Gannon, the new manager, was an unknown quantity in Scotland who kept his cards close to his chest with regards to transfer targets and signed players no one had heard of. Impact in the forum? Members lost and left to simply comment on who had come in. The manager kept his word and signed a string of new players. Forum members were kept content. Anyone who did offer a story got grilled by the other members.
As the new manager maintained his stance on only announcing targets once they were actually signed, so Steelmen Online taught itself to accept the lack of inside stories and challenge anyone who came online to offer a scoop. The ins and out thread gradually disintegrated into other topics and petered out some weeks ago. But for me, it showed how the forum sought to recognise fact and fiction. Earlier in the summer, there had been rumours about this young player, Paul Slane, moving on. However, he picked up an injury pre-season and hasn't played at all. Forum members now seem content to wait for him to return, rather than speculate about his future. Similarly, players who haven't featured much due to either injury or being dropped attracted a lot of gossip about being transferred out the club. This thread started off with a simple inquiry about a long-term injured player who has not played since last season. It quickly evolved into speculation and discussion about others who are not playing in the team at present. However, notice in this thread how as soon as someone claims to have heard something, they are challenged by other members and where their story came from. The general consensus appears to ride in encouraging players to full health and forum. The forum appears to allow members to express their thoughts and opinions, but the community seldom accepts any news at face value. This particular story about the manager moving to another club actually emanated from a forum member finding a news story in a local paper in England. If the story made the Scottish Nationals, or the BBC, it would indeed be a huge story. However, after voicing some opinion in the story, the discussion quickly died out as there was never any further comment from the media. The forum saw it as pure press speculation and moved on. The forum community has learned to cope with the lack of news leaks from the club and content itself with commenting on real events. So far this is not difficult to accept since the new manager has made a significant positive impact in the club and results are good. Like many fans I had accepted that just because a player wasn't in the team didn't mean his departure from the club was imminent. That's until the manager announces to the world his thoughts and fringe players. Can you say who you would like to move on at all? I think it's clear though, you know, we've got some great young players here of, uh, that we want to give new contracts to, we want to give them improved terms and there's others who have perhaps not done the job the club would like from them and uh, I think it's frustrating for them, it's frustrating for the club so I think for both parties it might be worthwhile for those that have not played a big part in this season mm -hmm. to get themselves another challenge. Can you, can you name names? I, I think you'll have to look at the team sheet. Mm. <laughs> sure. Like other members, as soon as I heard this, I dive straight to the obvious place. Steel Men Online.